What is the biggest chance you see in the Chinese market? So China, um, China will roughly account for 50% of our growth over the next couple of years. And you know, in, 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 the, in the display and electronics area, Asia and China specifically play a major role. I mean, I'm, I'm not exactly sure, but I would say that in the display field, probably 90% of world manufacturing capacity is in Asia. These are big players in Korea. Samsung, LG, these are players in Taiwan, AUO, in a, uh, uh, in a star, etc. And growingly in China, we see that a lot of the manufacturing capacity is actually within Asia is moving into China. In the electronics area, it's not as um, focused on China. Currently about 20-25% of world and electronics manufacturing capacity is in, is in China. It will continue to grow, but other countries, including the US, will remain, uh, will remain competitive. In healthcare, the Chinese government is spending now is spending 6% of GDP on health. They have a, a conscious policy to invest in healthcare because this is what the people what the people want. You compare that to India, a country that is almost the same, basically the same size. India invests only one percent in healthcare. So the Chinese government has very very clearly taken that taken that decision. So there will be a lot of growth in the, in the Chinese uh, healthcare market going forward. And then China is so much focused on innovation these days. So you can imagine that, China, that Chinese government, academia, research, universities and companies invest a lot in research infrastructure. So that's also very good for our business. And China wants to be a big player in biotech. So they build a lot, many new biotech production lines. Um, and this is why we are so keen on China. I've, I think I was in China this year already five times. Currently, what we're trying to do is that we, we, we want to co-innovate in China. It's not always easy, you know, you know, the Chinese government, Chinese companies have sometimes have a history of not respecting intellectual property enough, but we see, we see considerable progress. The other big topic for us is Chinese talent. We have plenty of Chinese people in our, in our company, but we don't have enough Chinese talent in our leadership yet. So, so we, that's something we decided as a team that we will upgrade, uh, upgrade our, uh, our talent approach.